Hey Rebel Rouser, I'm Alan Voivod and this is Star Wars 7x7. We're at episode number 1661, a palindrome for you today. And today we're going to talk about episode 9 and the teaser and the title, hey, for that matter as well. And the fact that we still haven't gotten one, and if we're looking at the advertising campaign leading up to The Force Awakens, or if we're looking at the advertising campaign leading up to The Last Jedi, as far as a comparable situation, well, it's definitely not like The Force Awakens because it's <laughs> too far gone, right? Because November should have been when we got the title for 9 and the first teaser for 9, and obviously we are well past that. So... Uh, here we are in mid-January, and still no word other than a rumor or two kicking around that there may be a teaser of some kind that may have already been completed, that may be making the rounds, but maybe very few people have actually seen the darn thing inside Lucasfilm, and so, you know, what does that really mean for us? Well, the next big date, of course, on the calendar would be for Super Bowl 53, and that is coming up on, let's do the February 3rd. February 3rd, that's when Super Bowl 53 is. And as you will recall, there was a teaser for Solo, a Star Wars story released during the Super Bowl. It was the first time that Lucasfilm had ever done a Super Bowl situation for one of their movie promotions, and... They had reason to do it previously because, of course, 99, 2002, and 2005, those were all May situations for the prequel movies, and none of them had anything to do with Super Bowl ads. And, in fact, I think somebody had asked Pablo Hidalgo back in 2018, like, hey, are we going to see anything for the Super Bowl? And Pablo's reply was something to the effect of, uh, we've never done anything at the Super Bowl, just for the record, but, you know, obviously that turned out to be a bit... Uh, I won't say misleading, it's, you know, it was a statement of fact, to be sure, but it was sort of a non-answer answer, if you will. And so, now the question comes, will we see something for Super Bowl 53 this year? And, you know, I started doing some digging because already some announcer, or some advertisers have been announced, and yet, and yet, number one... There have been no announcements for anyone on the entertainment side of the house. So whether you're talking about Disney or their sub-studios with Pixar and Marvel and Lucasfilm or you're talking about DC or Warner Brothers or Paramount or any other movie studio, nobody has announced anything just yet. And so I went digging into this a little bit and went into the advertising world side of things where... You know, you're going to get a more impartial look at the situation. It's not going to be the, you know, heavy breathing fan stuff like, this is it, this is it. So here is what Ad Age, Advertising Age, is saying about the whole situation for movie advertisements. Because I, personally, I think this is fascinating just as a look for how they do these things. And this will give you some insight possibly as to just the decisions about Solo last year and what might be informing a decision about Episode 9 this year. In the story on Ad Age, it says, As in years past, however, the movie buys are a bit harder to pin down. CBS, which is the network that has the Super Bowl this year, and the studios are keeping mum on how that particular category will shake out, which isn't terribly surprising. The network itself is beholden to binding non-disclosure agreements, while the movie makers don't necessarily have their final game plans in place. Studio marketing heads often aren't entirely sure which creative they'll present until the zero hour. In fact, it's not unheard of for for the networks to receive the final cut of a teaser just a few hours before the opening kickoff. Now, just for the heck of it, I went back and used the Internet Archive, so the Wayback Machine at archive.org, to look at iSpot.tv, which is one of the places that collects all the Super Bowl advertisers and commercials, and did the time machine for the only entry they had, which was January 27th of 2018, and... That was a week before the Super Bowl, roughly. And Lucasfilm slash Disney were not listed in the list of advertisers at that time. Paramount was listed at that time. So there was at least one movie studio represented. And Hulu, I think, was represented in there as well. So, you know, not exactly a movie studio, but you get the idea. So, yeah, it may be something that is well under wraps until game time. 
And there was a note later on in the article about the um, person who's heading up the advertising push at CBS saying that you know she can't say anything about what's going on with the ads, but that movie folks are very well represented. And the estimate right now is that it will be about 10% of the overall ad revenue, which you know I guess would mean maybe 10% of the actual time on screen. And according to precedent according to advertising age it's between half a dozen and nine movie trailers between six and nine movie trailers that they expect to see but this particular thing i thought was really telling and for our purposes in discussing the hopes or possibilities for episode nine having a presence there well it doesn't augur very well here is what the article has to say it says films released in May statistically are more likely to earn a spot in the Super Bowl, while projects that open in June and early July are also considered worthy of the considerable expense. And that being said, the article goes on to list a number of Disney projects that could fit the bill, but shockingly, only one of them really ends up inside that wheelhouse. And that movie would be, drumroll, Toy Story 4, which comes out in June. And they consider the Lion King live action remake a lock for this as well, but it comes out July 19th, so kind of not early July, so it doesn't really fall in there. But the article does mention that there are some other contenders that they feel are very likely to show up at the Super Bowl, which include the Dumbo live action movie, which is a late March release. Also, on the Marvel side of the house, Captain Marvel, which is an early March release, and Avengers Endgame, which is a late April release. But no mention of Star Wars Episode Nine whatsoever. It's just referenced as a long shot in the article. And just for fun, I checked over at Entertainment Weekly because they had just posted a piece about anticipated movie trailers during the Super Bowl. And the mention of Star Wars Episode Nine says that, you know, it doesn't seem very likely unless they want to get the marketing engine started a bit earlier than they did with The Last Jedi. And that the only rumor that they're hearing about any trailer or teaser drop is around Star Wars Celebration Chicago. You know what? You can rumor that all you want. I think we can pretty much... <laughs> You bet money on it. In fact, I think if you went to Vegas and tried to bet on a trailer dropping at Celebration Chicago for this, I think it would be one of those things where you'd have to bet more money and make less, right? Like, you know, bet a thousand to make 500 or something goofy like that. So, yeah, uh, I think it's pretty much a given <laughs> that we're going to get one. But, you know, Super Bowl Sunday, well, jury's still out, obviously, but. The evidence seems to point away from it for the most part, with the exception of, you know, I'll say one thing, and I'll tell you that in just a second. First of all, I do just want to say thank you for subscribing to the show if you're already doing that. And if you're not, please consider doing so. And also, I hope you will consider supporting this daily dose of Star Wars joy I'm bringing to you by joining the community at patreon.com slash SW7X7. All right, so here's that one thing. Looking back at the build-up for The Last Jedi, it was January 23rd of 2017 when they released the title for The Last Jedi. And so it would certainly be at least repeating precedent to advertise on the Super Bowl because of Solo A Star Wars Story to advertise for Episode Nine, and it would be repeating precedent by revealing the title before the first teaser is shown. So that all said, it seems like the Super Bowl might be a great place to, at the very least, tell us what the title of Episode 9 is going to be. So how about we see if that's a bet that we want to propose and consider. I'd love to know what your thoughts are about that possibility. So drop me a line wherever you happen to catch the show that has a comment section for it. Or if you need a section to drop it on, drop it at sw7x7.com. And that, my friends, is going to do it for today's episode. Thank you so much for joining me for it, as always. And may the Force be with you, wherever in the world you may be. This podcast is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox. It is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other related Star Wars items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited or their respective trademarks and copyright holders. May the Force be with them. All original content is copyright 2019 by Star Wars 7x7. We hope you love it.